I'm back with another guitar video because a couple of people have asked me to take a closer look at this. This is my Jackson DK2M, which I've had for a couple of months, and I bought it specifically to use in drop C and D standard, and it's been absolutely brilliant for that job so far. Um, so about these, uh, it's a Pro Series Jackson, which is their sort of upper mid-range, I guess, uh, line of instruments. Um, they're currently made, I think, in Mexico and in Indonesia, but before that they were made in Japan. This is one of the Japanese, well, one of the sort of later Japanese models before they shut the factory in about 2011, I think. Um, so this point, this uh, this guitar was made at some point before that, like so probably around 2007 or 8, although I can't be exactly sure. Um, so it's, uh, it's a really, really nice, well-built, uh, sort of modern rock guitar really. I mean these always seemed like a bargain even when they were new because they were you know Japanese made with like uh, you know not awful locking trims that sort of licensed Floyd. Um, Seymour Duncan pickups are standard and they came in hard cases and you know they, they had the usual high build quality that you'd expect from a Japanese Jackson and all that sort of stuff and they were only about 500 quid when they were new. Um, and they're still really, really cheap now. I mean, this was 250 This was up in the shop for. So, you know, they are absolutely rock-bottom prices, but you're getting such a cool guitar for that money. You know, I think they're some of the best value, like, best-kept secrets out there, really. And I think, you know, given the way that older Japanese-made Jacksons and Charvels and stuff have seen their values going up in the last sort of 10 years or so. I reckon it can't be too long before these start doing the same because they're that good. They're really, really awesome. So this is a DK2M, as I say. There were a few different DK2 models. There was the standard one, which had, I think it was a humbucker and two single coils. Um, there was the DK2S, which had a sustainer at the neck, which is quite cool. Uh, DK2T, which had a tunomatic fixed bridge. Um, I have seen a couple of DK2s that had just one humbucker uh, out of Floyd Rose, like sort of 80s, you know, 80s style thing. Um, I, that might have been a limited run, I'm not really sure. I've not seen very many of them, but I know they're out there. Uh, and this one was always my favourite model, the DK2M, which is two humbuckers, you know, Floyd obviously, and the maple fretboard with the really cool black shark fin inlays and the black logo, the sort of high contrast look, which I absolutely love. Um, and yeah, it's it's a really great guitar. Um, like I say, I've got it set up in uh, in drop C at the minute, so it's it's kind of only really used for high gain, you know, metal and all that kind of thing. But if you want some lower gain tones out of it, then you can do that. Let me just get the right sound up. Uh, something like this. I don't know. <laughs> Um, but really, you know, its main task for me is uh, is doing this sort of thing. You know, the um, hang on a minute. So if it sounded rubbish, that's why. <laughs> yeah, so it's set up with uh, Elixir strings like like I always use. Um, the gauge is 10 to 59, so it's a seven string set, but with the D string missing, uh, which means you've got a nice chunky low string, so you can do all the kind of like... And there's just enough kind of squidge to make it sound really, really fat and aggressive, but it also doesn't flub out, you know. Um, so yeah, it's it's great. I've got the Floyd sort of uh, semi-blocked so that you can mainly only dive. You can pull up like a limited amount, but I don't really like doing that anyway, so it doesn't bother me. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a Jackson, so you know you've got a really really lovely thin, fast feeling neck. So if you want to do some shreddy lead stuff, then. You know... <laughs> I've got no idea what I was doing there, but you know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's 
it's a really, really great guitar for, for my purposes. And I think, honestly, that if you're looking for a sort of rock guitar, metal guitar in this price range, then you'd be mad not to consider a, a Japanese sort of mid-2000s Pro Series Jackson because they're just so good. Um, and like I say, you give it three or four years maybe, and I doubt they'll be quite as cheap as they are at the minute. So um, yeah, really worth investigating, really worth picking up if you can. Um, so yeah, that's about all I have to say on this one, but until next time, uh, stay safe, keep well, and if you have any questions about this or any of my other gear that you want to see, then please let me know as always, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye!